I'm just a woman from the South Side. I want to walk alongside you because we're all in this together. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, shy fans all around the nation, we are less than a week away from the season three premiere of Shy coming on Showtime at 9 p.m. We can't wait because we've been looking for that good classic show kick off this summer season of TV. And we're gonna break down this latest trailer where it was all about the women that are gonna be up here. But it's also what they didn't say was it looks like everybody's getting into a relationship. But I feel like the women are gonna have a powerful role this season and we're gonna break down what they're gonna be doing. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. That's very important because a lot of my subscribers, notifications have gotten turned off for some reason. Check me and the Avengers of Life games every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at 9 p.m. And we go hard on all kinds of subjects. We review these shows too, but we ain't scared to talk about Black Lives Matter issues and if you want to keep the Black Lives Matter issue going, go check out shoplifegames.com, grab one of these t-shirts, because we plan on keeping this movement going until we see tangible changes. Let's check out another clip from the trailer, then we'll go ahead and break it down. I'm trying to build a legacy for myself. So the voice you're hearing is Lena Waithe, and I'm very excited to see what her role is going to be in the show. Looks like she's delivering a sermon, so she might have some kind of role in that manner. But in the beginning of the trailer, you hear her voice going over. Then the very next clip, you see Kevin and Jake, and you see a Black Lives Matter little sister in this new school Kevin and Jake going to. Just giving them the rundown of what they got to do at this school to stay relevant. You got to keep those Black Lives Matter issues going. I love that about her. She's going to be a powerful character. See, she got that afro all picked out. Then in the next scene, we see Kevin's mom said how much she loved this girl. And, you know, I can't wait to see what dynamic she's going to bring because we know Jake is going to be doing that drug business out of that school. Then we see my man Emmett talking to his baby mama saying he wants to be her manager. So what is baby mama getting into, ladies and gentlemen? Is she about to be in, you know, videos, she's singing, maybe she modeling, whatever the case may be, she was like, hell to the no, I don't need you to manage anything. I can do this myself. Then we see Papa getting hot and heavy, getting him some girl on girl, on, man on girl action with Kev's ex. And we know Papa is a deep thinker, we know he's sincere, he's a sweet dude, and I wonder what are they going to do with this relationship. This is one relationship we're going to have to see what they do, because old girl right here, she's smart too. I mean, she keep it real, she keep it 100, and she got your back if you need it. Then we see what I'm very interested in seeing. My homegirl Candy, she's going to be playing Rosalind, the estranged wife of Duda, and she just pops all up in this campaign office and the look on her face and that arm on that hip is telling me that she wants something and it ain't just about him. She want more than that. And I think they're going to keep a lot, they're going to keep it sexy this season because the next clip we're looking at here, you got some male dancers <laughs> and they taking, it, they taking it all off for the ladies, giving the ladies something to look at. You see that stripped up, cut up, three-piece suit this brother's wearing as he's taking it off. There ain't nothing covering up his back or his side, so y'all know that's coming off. Then we see our girl Jada. She getting it in. I got her new man. I guess, you know, after what happened with old rusty-ass Ronnie, shouts out to Mark Dark. She said she had to get her new man, and she's telling him, bruh, you know I'm a damn good catch. And then we see Kevin getting hot and heavy. Kissing the new, I'm gonna call this girl Black Lives Matters girl until I figure out what her name is on the show. But I'm, I'm all about this relationship because we know Kevin is gonna have to grow up pretty quick and she's gonna be a great level head in a school that you know for sure is predominantly white. She's gonna keep him going in the right direction. And then we see my man Emmett kissing his baby mama so we know they're gonna be sparking a relationship with them. And then we see my man this is Luke James, but until he proves himself on this show, I'm going to still refer to him as Johnny Gill. Because 
because he played the hell out of Johnny Gill in the new edition series that they did on BET. But to give you a little bit more background of what his character is on the show, on the show he's gonna be called Victor Trigg Tra Taylor. He's Jake's estranged older brother. And he wants to bring the family back together, but he wants to do it in an unconventional manner. What that means, I have no idea if he's gonna mess around and sleep with someone or what he's gonna do. But in this particular clip, the homegirl is saying, I'm the event. I'm the, the thing we need to have this celebration for. And I'm looking at her like, yeah, I guess you is. Um, so we're going to have to see what that relationship entails. And then we get on down here, last but definitely not least, Lala Anthony. And we've been wondering what is her role going to be on the show. She's going to be playing Dominique Dom Morris which is a very savvy businesswoman on the show, and she's all about building her wealth. And what does that entail in terms of her building her wealth? We see her working in the restaurant with Emmett. Does that mean she might buy the restaurant? Is she gonna try to do some gentrification of the neighborhood? How much is she gonna be led by her business desires? How crooked will she be? Who is she gonna sleep with? What is gonna be the role of her character in this show? I'm so excited, I can't wait. I want you guys to leave me all your comments on what you think each and every one of these characters is gonna be doing to create this great dynamic on this show this year. Who did I leave out of this trailer that you felt like I should have talked about? And be sure to follow us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be doing reviews, and we'll be going live on Monday night to discuss what happened from the shy Sunday premiere. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Be sure, be sure to follow us live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday nights at 9 p.m. where we cover all kinds of topics. We review these shows. And also keep that movement going, Black Lives Matters, by going to shoplifegames.com, buying one of those t-shirts, wearing the movement, never letting it die. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.